Oh, hey, hi. I'm Chris and Chris and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just checking out these life imprints and going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says... How did P-P-P-P-Pons evolve? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need some cardboard, some clay, and a plant leaf. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your very own plant fossil right at home. So, the very first thing you need, of course, <laughs> is a plant. Because you can't make a plant fossil without one. <laughs> okay, I'm using one of these little fern-like type plants, but you can use whatever plant you want. It really doesn't make a big difference. You know why? Because it's not a comment in the comments section underneath a YouTube video. <laughs> Too close to home? Next, you are gonna get yourself some clay. I got mine from a store. Where'd you think I got it? Oh, okay, see, no, I know. You want me to tell you where to get clay for free. I don't know, go get it from your art teacher. I don't care, because we're gonna use the clay to make your fossil. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna press your plant into the clay. Take a piece of cardboard and place that cardboard on the surface. Boo, that, what? You don't know where to get cardboard. Don't you have cardboard lying around your house? Then place your plant leaf on top of the cardboard. Now take your clay and push your clay down on top of the plant a lot like this. Wow, now check that out. You made a fossil, a fossil right at home. So how, how, what does this have to do with how fossils are made? And how did plants evolve? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look. You know it, at this. Since not all plants have hard parts to fill in with minerals, most of the earliest known plants to evolve are only known from their imprints they left behind, when volcanic ash or mud covered over these primitive plants and dried. Plant evolution started with cyanobacteria, a bacterium that was able to produce sugars using photosynthesis about 3.4 billion years ago. These bacteria began to link up to form algae chains to stop from being consumed by animal cells. These chains wove together to form primitive plant mats, which grew attached to the sea floors where they could still get light. Plant mats began to form mats along the sea edges, as well as in shallow streams. Plants teamed up with bacteria to evolve the first symbiotic plant system known as lichen. Bryophytes, or mosses, evolved from these lichens which shot up spore tubes. The very first vascular plants appear on land, which evolve from the mosses by splitting their single tubes into several branches, which evolved into the very first fern-like plants, which evolved into the very first gymnosperms which evolved the very first angiosperms, or flowering plants, we know today. So now you know more about fossilized imprints. You know, checking out fossils right at home is why science is so cool. <laughs>